Hey everybody, this is Dave coming to you from the Gaming Cave. Today we're going to do another playthrough of Thunderbolt Apache Leader from DVG Games. And if you saw my first video, you saw it went miserably wrong on the very first mission. Um, it was a combination, I think, of a couple unlucky draws for damage and not very good um, a random draw for my equipment. So. Um, we're going to run uh, this time Libya 1984. It's a standard level. And then these are the 10 tiles which I've already pulled out on the board. 33 on the setup that I had to get. And then um, we're going to do the surge. The surge is three days long. I get 30 starting points plus four because again I did the random uh, equipment draw and pilots. I get six SO points. The kicker in this one is you have to destroy at least two battalions the first day and a total of at least four by the end of the second day. So really it's two the first day, two the second day. So um, that makes it the uh, challenge is you got to make sure you, you get rid of these battalions. And um, oddly enough in this one, it um, has a fuel depot. I get an extra experience point, but it has a minus one loiter turn over all battalions. So I got to get rid of that one first. And then there's a command unit, which adds two to battalion move rolls. And I sure don't want those battalions moving up on me because they start to cost me stress. And if they keep coming, then they get, they get in another spot for me. So we're going to pick our uh, fuel depot is going to be our first target. And... First thing we do, and, and my pilots, or I guess I'll, I'll run through my equipment here at this time. So again, I had to um, separate out the um, stuff. This is 1984 or older. So I have a UH-1 Iroquois. I ended up with two F-16s, which were good draws. I have an A-10A Thunderbolt, so I'm happy with that. And I have the AH-1 Cobra. So I got a nice mix. I got five birds here, and I still, even after doing all that, I still had eight SO points. And as you know, you know, my feeling is SO points are key to keeping your birds flying. And if you have to do any emergency um, R&R or anything like that, or if things come up during the mission, I did buy two scouts also, which I've already taken off my uh, points there. So uh, we know that with this first mission, our loiter time is already down to four. Oh, I have to assign my scouts. So they're going to scout is, um, well, I guess I don't yet. First thing I should do, follow the um, sequence, game sequence. So special condition. So let's see what we got. Satellite recon data. Increase your lower returns over the battlefields by one. So for both my missions. So that gets us back up to five. Cancels out the supply one, which is good. Okay. Allocate pilots and aircraft. So I'm going to send on this first mission after the fuel depot. We're going to take our an F-16 and we're taking the Thunderbolt and we're going to take the Cobra. So I'll have one chopper, two jets. That leaves me with my Iroquois and the F-16 to go after that um, command unit uh, after a while. And then for my pilots, for my Cobra, I have two pilots available, Scuttle and Utah, and I'm going to send Scuttle on this one. So Scuttle's going. And then for my Thunderbolt, I have Viper and Rebel, and I think on um, I think on this one I'm going to use Rebel. And then for my F6. I have three pilots available. We have um, Ripper. He's an average pilot. 
I have Dart, he's an average, and I have Mohawk, he's an average. They're all three average. But I'm going to take Ripper on this one. He only needs four experience points to get promoted. And if I can wipe everything out on this one, there's a chance he could get his level up one. And that would be a big boost for us. So this is uh, 5S is our target. It is up here, so I'm going to spin an SO point and buy fuel, buy a um, fueling option. That eliminates the waypoint penalty, so I don't have to take any penalty on my waypoints. Um, I think. Is that what I want to do? I don't have to decide that just yet. And let me put my SO point back up there. I'm going to wait on that and see um, when I go to um, arm my aircraft, that's when I'll figure out if that's what I need to do or not. I got some pretty good waypoints here on a couple of these. The Cobra would be the guy that doesn't um, get that. So, yeah, let's see what we do here. Okay, so there's my pilots and my aircraft for this target. And now we're going to allocate our sc uh, scouts 5S and 1C. That's where they're going. Okay, now we arm our aircraft. So we're going to come come down here, and we're going to see what we can do here to arm these guys. Let's see, I have a Scuttle, and we have Rebel, and we have Ripper right here. Okay, so there's my aircraft. All right, so I'm going to go through here, pick out my uh, weapons load. And then I'll be back here in a few minutes. We'll look at what we did. Okay, so we're going to spend, I was at eight. We spent one for the fuel in, in uh, like, uh, you know, fueling on the way, air, air refueling. Two, because I've spent 15 points. 15, 16, 17, 18. 17, 18, 19, 20 points. So I spent 20 points, which means two SO points for all my weapon loads. So I'm taking a huge weapon load. My Cobra's taken one of these LAU-61s so they can hit the infantry with them. And the Cobra has a cannon. And then they're taking four AGM-114s because we got a bunch of storage tanks to attack. I got a huge array. I got an ECM pod on my... Thunderbolt, a Mark 20, a Mark 83 bomb, a couple GBU 16s, an LAU 61, and a couple AGM 114s, and an AGM 65. So I got a huge array of different weapons to use up here. And then on my uh, Falcon, I got an ECM pod, an AIM 9, just in case we happen to draw a helicopter. I don't want that to happen to me. It's a little bit of a insurance I guess my AGM 114s to a couple mark 20s and a couple AGM 65 so you can see we're coming targeting for uh, these these uh, buildings so let's see if I did that right I should have enough two four six eight nine ten so for buildings storage your six Buildings is eight and the sites are ten. The trucks I figure I can get with the cannon and um, also with the um, infantry we got a couple of rockets. So I think I got enough armament there um, to do that. So we've armed our aircraft. So now we do our target bound event card. Ground combat. Pay three SO points to retreat any one mobile battalion, one range band closer to the enemy rear. Man, I'm not going to spend three SO points for that. I wish I could, but I'm, that would drop me to two going into the last combat round. And not, doesn't leave me very well for repair of anything. And I've been caught by this before. As much as I would like to push one of those back, I'm not going to do it today. Okay. All right. No engine damage check, so now we place our terrain hexes. So we'll give them a shuffle here. 
get them mixed up. Make sure everything's ready to go. Boop. Get up here. Okay. Here we go. So, that's good. That ridge is out on that border out there. Another open terrain here. Terrain. Terrain. Here we go. Mountains are showing up now in the middle. That really makes it difficult sometimes. But it helps when the mountains are side by side like that. If you're going to block me, block me that way. Open. Pretty close to open. And some more mountains right here. All right. So, a little different this time. Some open up here, some open down here, and then the ridges down through the middle. That'll make it interesting. Um, place the enemy units. Okay. So, let's see. I'll gather up the enemy units that we need, and then we'll get them placed. So, this will be two AA sites, two buildings, two infantry, six storage, and four trucks. So, I'll get them placed, and then I'll be right back. I'll get the map up here. Okay, so in hex one we have storage, storage, infantry, hex two, a truck, AA site, building. Let's see, over here in hex five, two trucks, a building and storage, six, a storage, seven, an AA site. Then in nine we have two storage, and in ten, a truck and infantry. So, it makes it interesting because I'm going to get a run on some of this stuff, I think. And uh, see if we can't um, do some damage here right out of the bat. So I can set my fighters now. And I'm looking at coming in low. And coming in with Ripper. He can come in this way. And that F-16 can move two or three. So you got to plan for him to move two or three. And then I have um, Scuttle and I got Rebel. The A-10 can go one or two. So I might bring him in. Let's see. Ripper was slow. Rebel is slow. Scuttle is slow. Well, I can go two with um, the A-10. Yep, so we'll bring him in this way. I think, where's that AA at? It's over there, so I'm kind of hid from it right now. That way I want to bring in Scuttle. Now he's only going to be able to move one. Yep, and question is... From where, right? Do we bring him in at? Could bring him in over here. And let's see, what will he do? Oops. This is my Cobra. Try and just try to get him in a spot where he can help without getting shot at right off the bat. That AA site's right there, though, man. A10's a one or two. He's going to come in there. Or I start him. Shoot. <laughs> Those AA sites are what I want to get rid of. But I could do a lot of damage real fast right here. Coming in here. The infantry's got a range of one. So does that one. I'm trying not to get Scuttle killed right out of the gate. Alright, we'll bring Scuttle in here. 
this way and see what we can do. Okay. Placed our aircraft. Now we do our scout success check. That's this scout right here on 5S. So we roll. And we check it. And it's a 4. And a 4, my scout roll is plus 2 turns. So I got 7 turns to do all my damage here. Okay. So here we go. No pop-up targets because everybody's low. We do an enemy cover roll. And it is 10. And a 10 is anyone hex emerges. So nobody emerges. So that's good. Nobody made beeline for cover yet. My fast aircraft, I don't have any. The enemy attacks. So they're at same range, same range. The the uh he can't see this way to fire anything over here. So I'm blocked by that train. They have a range of one. And this AA site would fire this way or this way, so he can't see us, so we're good. So we're covered from everything. Okay, so no attacks from the enemy. So here we come. All right. Let's start with Ripper. He's going to move two, one, two, and he's going to come out this side right here. He's going to come out right there. He's dropping his, um, he's going to drop his Mark 20 into the group. And he's going to what? Pretty sure we'll take, we got a good chance at knocking down a bunch of those. Um, should he drop one of these here on that uh, building? It's a minus four Ooh, to my die roll. Those buildings are tough. Uh, that's where those... Um... Oh, wait a minute. I'm on the wrong guy. Here's my... I'm on Ripper. Mark 20. Right here. And... Could drop two of them. That Mark 20 is going to be really tough to hit that building. He is a zero on his... Okay, we're just going to drop the Mark 20 in here. And it gets to... I get a roll on each one of these. All right, here we go. Ripper's dropping his bomb. His Mark 20. Let's see. He gets a plus two on the truck. He's a zero on that. So he needs a four or higher. He gets to roll for each one of these. So we'll roll two dice for the two trucks because they're the same. Okay. And he gets a five and a six. Plus two makes it seven and eight. So that's two hits. So the two trucks are destroyed. So we nailed them. At least I got something out of it. <laughs> All right, here he comes. Um, this is on the storage unit. Again, he's um, no modifier on this one, so he needs a six or higher. And he gets a four. And for the building, it's a minus four to my die roll. So that actually means he has to have a ten. Oh, baby! <laughs> ten. Yes, I knocked out the building. So three out of four hits right there. I'll take that. For that Mark 20. Yes. Woo. Like it. <laughs> right off the bat, we get a good hit. Okay. Here comes Rebel. He's moving two. One. Two. And. 
He's going to come this way through there. Okay. He is going to drop his Mark 20 right here. Yep, he's going to drop his Mark 20. He's got two storage buildings and an infantry unit there. And, boy, I hate to miss that infantry unit. He's going to drop his Mark 83 on the infantry unit. So the Mark 20 is on all three of them. So we'll roll the Mark 83 first. It is a four higher to hit. He's a plus one on his die roll. And that's it. Plus one. And he hits a six. So that kills the infantry. That's good. They won't be shooting at me. Got rid of them. That's why I wanted that. I, I needed that one. Okay, now he's rolling the Mark 20 for both these storage units. We'll roll two dice. He gets plus one on each one of these. And I get a one, which is a miss, and a seven, which is an eight. So we hit one of them. So we killed one of the storage units. Okay. So unfortunately, I didn't eliminate everything, but I did some damage right there. Now, I have Scuttle. He's coming in against this storage and he's going to, you know what? He's going to hover. And he can fire this AGM 114s. He can fire two of them. No, he's going to only fire one if I do it that way. I can fire my LAU-61 at one of these storage units right here. That's what he's going to do. He's a plus one because he's in strike range. So he needs, he's going to roll here. He's a four to hit, a seven to get to use it again. He's firing at one of these storage units right here. He gets plus one. Five is a six. Well, he killed the storage unit, but he doesn't get to reuse that rocket. But he's hovering. So he's in a pretty safe place here away from everything. So that used up his LAU-61. Okay. That's a good first go right there. Um, and the loiter moves down to six. Okay. To get them to half strength is 17. We'll just do a quick count now. There's two, three, five, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. There's not much left. One more good hit, and we'll do some damage to him. Okay. <laughs> oh, the bad thing is that storage can fire at you. All right, here we go. So now we do pop ups, there aren't any. We do enemy cover roll, and it is a six. All infantry moves into cover. So that infantry is dead. This infantry goes into cover. So we'll put him in cover right there. Okay. That's it for the cover roll. Now we have this storage site is firing at Rebel, but he has an ECM pod. So we're going to see if seven or higher, he defeats that. Three does not. So this is a yellow on Rebel. And he is evasive. So that's a pylon and he evades that. So no damage. I really didn't even have to draw for that one. Truck campfire, building campfire. The AA site can only fire at Rebel. So he's going to fire. He gets three. That's why I got to get rid of that thing next. One, two, three. See what we got. That's an engine. That's an attack minus one. That's a structure A10. So I discard that. So I can get rid of one of these. 
engine or attack minus one. Let's see, for him, it would leave him even. I think um, we'll get rid of the engine hit and he'll carry an attack minus one this next time around. So it's a penalty, but it's no damage. Okay. This storage unit can fire at Ripper. So he gets to pull one. It's yellow. And it is the engine. Okay, so he takes an engine hit. So we get an engine marker. And we put that on my aircraft right there. So he does did take some damage. This storage unit can fire at Scuttle. Okay, so he's going to fire. And it is 110. Well, he's not an 810, so one stress. So Scuttle takes the stress. Okay, not too bad considering what we just went through there. Okay, this AA site can't fire because of all these hills and me being low, he's not getting a shot at me. So that's good. Okay, so here we go. Fast attack. So we're going to run. So overall, not bad. I got one engine hit here, minus one on my attack, on my next attack, and one uh, stress on my Cobra. All right, so here we go. So I'm going to have Rebel attack right here. He's coming in this way, and he's going to turn out... I think I'll bring him in this direction right here. Okay, so he can attack. He's going to use his GBU-16 on the building and a GBU-16 on that AA site. I do not intend to miss that thing. And I'll worry about the truck later, I think. Okay, so I'm firing each one of these, one at the AA site, one at the building. Okay, so the AA site, it's a mod. he needs a zero to hit. He's a minus one, but he's a plus one at strike range. That's an automatic kill. So he he eliminates the AA site. So that thing's down. So I don't have to get shot up by it anymore. That's one of the reasons I brought them bombs. They're good. <laughs> they're they're uh, they're handy. The other one he's got to roll. So he's minus one plus one. So he's even, but minus four against the building. So. He needs, um, see what he rolls here. He gets a two. He missed the building. Okay, so he didn't get the building. Dang it. Them buildings are tough. Those modifiers on them. That really makes them tough. All right. <clears throat> Scuttle is sitting here. And I could fire my cannon here to see if I could knock that out. That's a 9 plus 1, so I need an 8 or higher to hit. I don't think I'm quite ready to go to cannon fire yet. So I think what he's going to do is... I'm going to fire my AGM-114, which has... Let's see. He's, he can come in there. Also, or he can stop there. Let's see. One, two. Be a good one to hit again. Okay. <laughs> Man, what do you do, right? Okay, he's going to fire his AGM-114 at this storage right here. So he's firing there. He needs a four or higher to hit. No modifier. And he gets, oh, a three. Man, come on, you guys. Killing me. <laughs> and he's going to move. Now, he's in this um, hover, so I'm going to get him moving. I don't want him um, sitting there. I'm going to move him this direction this time. All right. That leaves me Ripper. So Ripper is coming in here. One... 
two. He's got to go at least two. He'll stop there. He's coming out the same direction right here. He's going to fire on these two targets right here. So he's dropping his Mark 20. Do I want to do that? Means you got to have a 10 to hit there. He's going to fire his AGM-65 at the building. So that's a 1 and minus 4 to the die roll. 7 minus 4 is a 3. He hits the building. So he knocked the building out. So Ripper did his job. Knocked out that building right there. Okay. <laughs> That's all my moves. The loiter moves down to five. And now we go back around. No pop-up targets. So now we do an enemy cover roll. And it is seven. Any, let's see, one random hex. So now we roll. And that hex is number eight. Three, seven, eight. Nobody's in it. All right. Woohoo. Good deal. So they're going to attack. This truck can fire. Okay. One to five, it's on Rebel. Ten. He's firing at Ripper. So we'll pull one random, one yellow. That one comes off of there. And this yellow is his HUD on Ripper. So that means minus two to my strike. Uh, attack okay he can't attack that was him he can't attack he can't attack he can't see them and he can't see him so no AA sight problems uh, the infantry is not in range I got to be at zero range to hit that infantry there so maybe I see what I might need to do this time to get that AA side out of there. I can come in and hit these guys and I can hit that one. So I think that's what we're going to do here. Um, Scuttle is going to fire his AGM-114 at this building storage unit right here. He's going to go first here. Okay. So he needs... He's a... Uh, you know what? Before he does that, he's going to move. He's going to come out this side. Scuttle is. But he's firing this. Uh, oh, no, no. Well, he can't do that. He has to fire before he moves. Yep. Okay. So he's firing because I can't fire. This has a red zero, which means I cannot use it at range zero. So he has to fire it. So he's firing it right here at this storage unit. This is a um, this is the um, okay any buildings so he's a four he's a zero on his modifier so he needs a four or higher to hit one man scuttle you suck. <laughs> He ain't hit nothing yet. Okay. I don't think he's hit anything. Well, he hit, may have hit something over here. That's it. Now he's moving. So it gets him out of that guy's target range. He's coming after that truck. Next. See if I can get it. He's doing some mop-up work over here. Okay. Now I got Ripper and I got Rebel. So we're bringing Rebel in. One, two. He's turning this direction. Right there. And he's going to fire his. He's a plus one. I 
I'm going to fire my AGM-65 at him. Plus one. One to hit. I think there's going to be ten. He annihilated that AA site. So it's gone now. Okay, so I nailed that one. Ripper's coming in here at range zero. One, two. He's turning with him, going out with Rebel, so they're traveling together right now. He's dropping his Mark 20 onto this grid right here. So he's going to have two dice. The green die is for the infantry. The blue die is for the truck. The blue die is going to get plus two. They're not standoff, so he doesn't have any other modifier. He needs six or higher. He gets plus two on the blue die, which is the truck. He gets, oh my God. The blue gets four, plus two is six. So he eliminates the truck. But he got a five on the green die and no modifier. So he did not kill that infantry unit. And now they're going to be able to fire at us. Okay. So that blows <laughs> on the next turn. They're going to fire at us. All right. That's it. Loiter time is down to four. Now let's count. Two, three, five, seven, nine, ten. So we have him at half now. This is 5S. So he's now at half strength up here. So we flip the counter over and it shows him in half. Okay. We got to get him down to four to get rid of to win to be able to uh, at least eliminate the battalion so we're getting there um, <clears throat> okay no pop-ups enemy cover so here we go enemy cover is two in the same hex with the aircraft he's already in cover and he's a building he can't move all right now we go to slow. This storage takes a shot at Scuttle. Here we are. It's a yellow. And it is minus one on his attack. Okay. <sighs> Man. <laughs> and now we're going to have... The infantry can fire... See, one to five, it's on Ripper. It is seven. He's firing at Rebel. He gets one yellow, and I have an evasive, so I can evade that. So I only have to draw it. Okay, that worked out. All right. Two, three, five, seven, nine. Okay, here we go. Scuttle's going to fire his AGM-114 at that truck. Okay, we're going to try to get this kill. He's firing it. Does he want to do that? Or does he just want to move in there and fire? Well, I think on this one, we want to move in. Yeah. He's going to move in. And he's going to use his cannon. No. I better not. I need to hit something here. He's going to fire his AGM-114 at that truck. Okay, he needs a four higher to hit. He has minus one attack and zero on his standoff. So he's minus one on his die roll, but he gets plus two. So it's a plus one on his die roll. It's four higher and plus one. Ten. He killed that truck. Way to go. Way to go, Scuttle. Knocked it down. All right. And he can move now. So he's moving to this storage unit next. He's gonna see if he can knock it out. And in fact, he's going to hover right there because he can spin around and shoot back at that guy if he needs to, whichever one I decide to go after. All right, now here comes these two guys and they're gonna have to go, um, they're gonna have to go to high altitude 
but I don't have to pull them both at the same time. That's a nice thing. So there's, according to the um, campaign, there's two no enemies that we took out. Okay. So I could send Ripper high. He can go one. And get him lined up for an attack here. So here comes Ripper. What's he got left? He's got two AGM. He's got an AGM 65. Yeah. So he's going to go high. He's going to go one, two, and he's going to fire his AGM 65 right here on this storage unit. Okay. He is plus one because he's standing off. And he is, that's it. Plus one. He needs a four. He needs a one or higher plus one. That's a hit. Oh, it's another 10. So he blew up that storage unit. There we go. Used up our AGM 65 there. Now, I either go high with him. One, two, and take a shot real quick. We're getting these guys down here now. So that's what we're going to do. He's going high. One. Two puts him here. Actually, he's high. He's going to be right there. He's firing on that storage unit. Okay. He's firing his AGM 114 right here. And that is. Four higher. Rebels a plus one. Three makes it a four. He hit it. Whew, that was close. Okay, he nailed the storage unit. It burnt. All right. So, getting some hits here now. That hood should be back in there. All right. And we're down to three loiter, or three... Yeah, three loiter turns. We got to get these guys off the board so they don't have any other issues too. Okay. All right, here we go. No, oh, two pop-up counters this time. So now we're drawing for pop-up. That's the problem with being high like this. Two of them. Uh-oh. I got a no enemy. Thank goodness. No enemy. But I got an infantry that gives you heavy damage and a range of one. So we roll for the random hex, and it is four. One, two, three, four. So there he is. Daggone it. And he's going to be able to see me because I'm at high altitude right now. Okay. So he's troublesome. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it? All right. So now we do enemy cover roll. Two, in same hex with aircraft. Well, he's destroyed, they're destroyed, so there is no body, okay? So that's good. Here we go. He can't fire, range is one. Thank goodness he can't fire at me. Okay, I'm gonna get a shot at that and kill him. Maybe just to get him off the board so he's not harassing us over here. Um, he can't fire the infantry. Oh, the infantry can fire at rebel, but it's a one yellow and he can evade. So no damage. Okay. So we're good there. All right. What do we got here now? I think we're going to do what? Bring him in and gun those guys. You take him and gun them. At two and nail him. Okay, Scuttle's firing his rocket. It's an AGM 114 at this storage unit. 
He is a plus zero because it's a standoff. So he needs a four higher to hit. Ten. Yes. Scuttles. Had some early misses, but he's found his range now with that Cobra. He is going to move. here be two one and out yep he's coming here like this okay so I got a storage unit here one. he can turn and hit and he can go low so rebel is moving one and he gets to go low now He's back under that. He's firing at this one. He's firing his AGM-114 at this storage unit. And this is... This will be... Okay, AGM-114. Jeez, sorry. I'm thinking ahead and I'm not paying it. He needs a four or higher to hit. He gets plus one. It's a... Oh, two! He missed. Crap. That's not cool. He's going to have to come in there with his guns. Blast this thing. Now... I got Rebel. He can come in here low. One, two. He'll come out of there high. He'll get one shot at that guy. He's coming in here. One, two. He's going to be... Oh, he'll just stay high because he's got to come out of there. No, he can be low for this turn. The next turn he'll have to climb again. He's... Taking a gunshot at that guy with seven. He needs a seven or higher. He's no modifier. I gotta have a seven or higher to hit. Seven! Yes! Killed the infantry. That leaves me that storage and that one. He doesn't count against us because he's a pop-up target. If I nail this storage unit, it's all over. I've, I've eliminated everything. And I can get off of here and have all my points. So that's what we're trying to do. Loiter goes to two. Okay. And roll for cover. I got nobody high right now. Four is... Has destroyed units hex. So he does not. So he does not go to cover. Okay. He can't see them because he's blocked. So that's good. So here we go. So we got Rebel and we got Ripper firing two AGM 114s at this storage building. <laughs> I'm going to take two shots at this guy. See if I can hit this thing. I need four higher. I'm plus one for standoff to each die. And I get a nine and a seven. So I eliminated that storage unit. Boom, boom. He's out of there. He goes high. There's one, two, and he's off the board. Ripper comes out. Scuttle. He flies one. He's there. And Rebel. One, two, he's off the board. And we drop this to one. We do a cover roll, which is 10. Any one hex emerges, there ain't nobody to emerge. He can't fire, I'm out of range. We're off the board. Everybody's off. Okay. Yes! The first battalion, I finally got, I got through the first one. Yes! Okay, so now what we have to do is go through, well, let's follow our steps. 
adjust the battalion strength counter it's gone we eliminated it so 5s is off the map now okay we'll keep that so i get all my points we homebound mission event okay so this one we didn't do now we pull our homebound mission event and it is inflict two light hits on each aircraft that does not expend a weapon counter so rebel can expend one and um, ripper can expand one expend one they had one left over scuttle did not have one so he takes two light hits okay so i got to pull two light hits for scuttle here and it is structure geez and oh no structure it crashed him he took a hit and went down oh 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 wait a minute wait a minute look look ah1 it does not count so it's only one structure hit oh oh, oh that was close oh you dogs man <laughs> Okay, we avoided that. Woo, that was close. All right. No bingo fuel checks. We all got off in time. No crash pilots. So now we're going to go through and record pilot stress, record pilot experience points, record the victory points, and then I'll be back. And, we're, and that's the end of that mission. We don't do end of day yet. Okay, so I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so on my sheet 5s we uh we'd spent two so points for munitions one for the in transit air fuel so that was three so i still have five for my next mission uh no daily so points yet we didn't do any repairs yet uh had four victory points i completely destroyed that and so with that my my uh it was too stressed for going up there so ripper has two Rebel has a cool of one, so he only got charged one. Scuttle had a stress on him, so two makes three on him, which is his limit. But we managed to, we got a um, one experience point for the fuel depot. Got two for destroying it, and we got an extra one for destroying all of it. So that's four experience points. Four was enough for ripper he was average so his promotion was four his skill level so now he's now skilled and that's pretty good for him because he goes from zero common strike and plus one standoff to plus one and plus two so now he's a much better pilot and uh, for the f-16s okay now I do have to mark down for that F-16. I have a HUD and an engine damage on that one, on that particular plane counter. And so we have to get that uh, repaired uh, before we can use it again, especially with that engine. So hopefully we won't use up too much of our um, stuff on this next one. Okay. So now we'll get set up for um I'll, I'll mark these down put the pilots away and we'll get set up for the second half of the day here so i'll see you again in a little bit okay so i cleared the board got everything set and the satellite recon data still applies it's still this day so we're up we start with six on our loiter i only have two aircraft i have my iroquois the uh1 and I have my F, other F-16 pilot, Dart. Uh, he's plus one on his standoff. And he's a green. So he's hopefully he's going to get some experience here. And Slider, who's a pretty good Iroquois, um, coming in. So that's where we're at there. I armed him. So it is. Uh, I'm going to spend one SO point for fuel, refueling. And then my munitions that I have, I think I can add one more because I've got 
well, wait a minute, one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, and my easy on pot, that's 10, so it only costs me one, so I'm gonna save a point by doing that. So that's only one there. Okay, so I'm trying to be conservative because I know I'm gonna have to, re I already know I have to spend three points for um, repairs from the last mission. Okay, the next thing we have to do is our target-based event. So this event, UAV flyover, gain one, gain plus one on attack rolls during the first loiter turn. All right. So in my first attack, it's going to help me. Um, neither of my pilots are fast, unfortunately. So, um, of course, what worries me the most are these SAM sites because they inflict heavy damage. And uh, I do have my ECM pod on my Falcon, so I'm hoping that um, he can ward some things off. Okay, I have no engine damage check, so now come the train hexes. So here we go. Start. Last time the train was pretty favorable for me to hide. Only had to do that one pop up when I had to go over into that one corner. So I'm hoping we'll see how this one works out. So far, um, it's not horrible yet. A lot of the mountains are kind of the ridges are kind of in between everything. So so that blocked that one. If they get in there, it's going to be hard to root them out. <laughs> and an open one. Okay, so tighten it all up. All right, there's our train. We have the enemy units right here. It's two APCs, four command vehicles, and four SAM vehicles. So we'll start with the two APCs. And they're going to be in hex 4 and hex 10. All right, here come the four command vehicles. Oh, two dice and four dice. We have a 7. It's here. We have an 8. It's here. And we have two twos. So two of them right there together. I kind of like them being there. I almost wish all these SAM sites would all be in the same hex. <laughs> they can make one swift attack on them. Okay, here we go. Well, I didn't get them all in the same hex. I got a six, three, four, five, six, out in the open. He can't hide from us. Got a 10, he's over here with the APC. Got an eight, nine, eight with that command center. And a three over here. Okay. So, what's that do for me here now? Got to bring in my Falcon. This is Dart. And Slider. All right. And I want to come in where they can't see me, maybe, but for them SAM sites, but that's going to be hard to do. This guy, he can't see this direction, but this guy can. He can see there. He can't see there. This guy can't see over here, but he can see here. Oh, brother. So somebody's going to see. They've got good coverage. Let me tell you. They, they have got excellent, excellent coverage here on this. So, you can have slider. Man, if you start there, you're in range of two of them Sams. They're, they're just going to hammer us. Um, if you start here, you're in range of the command center, the APCs. There's a Sam commands over there. Yep, it's just like, where do you start, right? Where do you start? 
see he can't see this side because that ridge line runs all the way down through there so these two are on this half if you're at low altitude this guy is the only one that's got you over here so I think think he's got a range of three on them bad boys all right I gotta take a um what do I do here I'm going to have to take a... <laughs> can't start here because he's going to get shot by two of them SAM sites and that is just not going to work out. I can start him here with that APC. Maybe go ahead and kill it. He's going to have to go high to get out of there. which will give him one shot somewhere or two over there or he drops in over there hey that may be it may be the thing right darts coming in low here and I'm gonna start here He's going to have to pop up no matter what, but they can't see him yet. He's protected. The only the APC can see him. They can't see him. That Sam can't see him. These are the, he doesn't have range. So I only got to worry about this one Sam site right now. He can't see him either. So right now I got to deal with these Sams pretty quick and these command centers. If I can clear this half of the board, then it's, and it's game on for these guys, and I may have to do some pop-ups here. Whew, this stuff's uh, nerve-wracking when you're trying to save your pilots, and you got to knock out all these targets, but that's what we're going to do. Okay. Um, we place that. Now we do our scout success check. Okay. We roll, and it is a nine. Plus four turns, minus one stress. So I got a full 10 on my loiter. And I'm going to do this again like I did in the very first mission I did. I'm going to mark these guys with a minus one. And then when we go to tally everything up, we'll know that they get one of these back because of this recon. All right. That's good. <laughs> okay, here we go. No pop-ups. Now we're going to roll for his cover. It is a six. All infantry. There's no infantry. That's good. All right. Well, let's start. This. These guys can't fire because they can't see me. He can't fire because he can't see me. The APC is going to fire its slider in his uh, UH-1. And it is one stress. So slider picks up a stress. Okay. All right, show you the board a little better. All right, slider got a stress. They can't fire, they can't fire. He can't fire. He can fire at dart. So dart's going to roll. He needs a seven or higher, and he'll defeat his same site. Damn, two. Okay, I gotta pull two heavy damage on the F-16. One, two. Cannon, permanent, damn it. I needed that cannon. And bullet holes. Okay, so I got bullet holes, which will have to be repaired. And I got a cannon over here somewhere. Thought I did. Cannon. So his cannon's out. Whereas cannon is minus two. So it's minus two to fire my cannon. So it's not knocked out. 
but it makes it harder. Okay. All right. So sliders up. Man, I didn't think that through very good for him. For slider. Well, I did it. He's going to fire his... Um, I'll tell you what. <laughs> what was I doing with dart? Oh, he's firing. Okay, dart's going to go first. He's firing two AGM 165s. They have a range of three. He's firing them at one at the SAM site, one at the command. Okay, so he's going to fire. Yeah, I see what I'm doing now. He's going to fire at um, those two right there. And let's see, Dart is a plus one on his standoff. And he gets plus one for this UAB flyover. For this, so he's a plus two. Oh, he needs ones. Yeah. Uh, get my stack over here. And he gets a seven and a four. So he nailed. Sorry, I dropped my dice on my stack of counters. I'm just fixing them real quick. So I don't get everything all mixed up over here. <laughs> Of course, it hit the big stack, the infantry. You know, that's the way it always goes, right? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. So, those two AGM-65s did their work. And I knocked out a SAM site. Knocked out a SAM site. And a command center. So, that's six points right there. Boom. And cleared, that's one set that ain't going to be firing at me. Okay, slider, unfortunately, is not in a good position here. But here's what he's going to do. He's going to go, he's got to go high altitude. And he's coming this side. Oh, wait a minute. I can't do him yet because I didn't move Dart yet. So Dart, they nailed that one. Man, he's only got two of them left now. Okay, what's he going to do? He needs to go high also, but I don't want to do it yet. He's going to come this way. One, two. He'll be facing this way. Yep. Okay, slider's coming up high. He's moving one. And he's firing his AGM 114. He can fire one. He's going to fire it at that Sam right there. He is a plus one. He gets plus one for the flyover. That's plus two. He needs a four or higher. He gets a seven. He nailed that one. Okay, well, we got half the Sams eliminated on the first turn. Thank goodness. Because I'm going to have to go high with dart next time. But we're trying to nail these um, Sam sites and get rid of these suckers. Okay. Oh, if I can survive with slider, I got a chance here um, to do some damage. So let's see what we got to do here. Man. I'm almost to get rid of those um, Sam's. Okay, my loiter comes down to nine. 
Sorry, I'm sitting here trying to think. What do I got to do? What do I got to do? <laughs> the mind's working. Okay, I got to draw a pop-up counter for my uh, slider being at high altitude. And it is... Oh, crap. Oh, damn it. A helicopter. Oh, the worst thing I could have drawn. A nine. So he's here. So now we have a pop-up. The good thing is, he can only fire at the low altitude targets. So he can't hit me at high altitude. Woohoo! He's got a range of one and three, but he can fire over that ridge where Dart's at. So that's the bad thing. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That guy is, that guy's bad, 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 bad news. Okay. Shoot. Man, I did not need that. <laughs> All right. Enemy cover roll is eight. Any one unit in each hex. So that command goes into cover. That SAM goes into cover. This is even worse. The APC went into cover. Command, cover. The helicopter actually gets into cover. And there's no cover in that hex. Oh, brother, 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 brother. This is so bad now. This is bad, 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 bad. This is worse than anything. I didn't bring an aim with me to take him down. Now I gotta be in the same hex too. Oh, man. Okay. All right. So he has line of sight, so he doesn't move. Let's see. These two can fire at slider. So these are light damage. See what he gets. One stress. And no cannon for this turn. Okay, so no cannon for this turn. And he goes to two stress now. All right, we're still good. Man. Uh. All right. <laughs> that was them. Sam can fire. One, two. He can't see him. So that's his target. So now he gets two heavy damage at slider because he's at high altitude. Uh-oh. Cannon and a structure. H64. Nope. So I take a structure hit. That's one. That's bad. And he takes another cannon. So he takes a cannon hit, which is minus two on his now. This is not going well. Not going well, guys. Okay, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Man, this may not have been the best target for me to come after. Who's next? He's not in range. He didn't fire. They're dead. He can fire at the... So he's got an ECM pod. He's going to roll to see if he defeats it. i got to have a 7 or higher. 9. Good deal. The helicopter couldn't get on him. Okay. APC can't fire. This Sam can fire at slider. It's two more heavies. This is a HUD. Oh my God, a structure. They shot him down. So he just crashed. So slider's down. Okay. They shot slider down. Boy, I just sure, sure didn't want that to happen. All right, well, here we go. I gotta go do something now. And this is bad because these guys that are in cover, I can't get them with my rockets. Um, he's gotta go high. He's gonna go one, two. Don't wanna stay there with all them guys. Three, he'll be pointed this direction. He's firing. His two AGMs, 
He's firing um, one AGM-65 at this Sam right here. He needs a one. He's plus one. It's a hit. So he kills the Sam. Not going to fire it. I'm not going to waste it on the APC. Because that's not the bird I need to get. Loiter goes down to eight. I have to draw another pop-up because of the high altitude. And it is no enemy. Thank goodness. Okay. <laughs> it's already bad enough. I got that silly helicopter up there. All right. So now we do... This command can't fire. The Sam fires at him. So we roll a seven to see if we defeat. I need a seven or better. Two. Two heavy damage on my F-16. Structure. That's an A-10, so it counts. An engine. So he takes an engine hit. These all have to be repaired. But the structure, of course... Is the bad one because that can shoot you down okay now this command I'm gonna roll to see if I can defeat his nine yep he can't fire he can't fire okay so now it's up to me I'm gonna go I'm at high what am I gonna do He's going to go one, two, He's going to fire onto that command with his last AGM-65, which kills it. So it's down. And I'm down to guns now. And I got cannon damage. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. Orders at seven. He's got... 7, 8, 12, 13. He's got 13 points, so he's at half now. This is 1C up here. I got a lot to kill. <laughs> Pop-up target is no enemy. Woo. Okay. Okay. This command is firing at him. I'm going to roll to see if we can beat him with PCM pod. Five. Nope. This is a light damage. And it is one stress. Okay. Now the Sam's firing. I'm going to roll my ECM pod. Five. And the five is no. So he gets too heavy damage. I think I need to check see if that helicopter moved last time or not. He gets bullet holes and structure. That's my second structure hit. Oh boy. So I got more bullet holes. And the second structure hit. That's two. He's about to get shot down. But he can't go home because we haven't finished the mission. Okay, this command, he's going to roll to C7. He defeated that one. Okay, he hasn't been able to get a lock on him. All right, I'll be right back. i got to check that helicopter. I'm not sure if I was supposed to move him last time. So he would have moved, but he can't fire at him because he's still only a low. And so I'm at high, so I'm dodging him because of that. Okay. So here comes Dart. He's got to make another. He's staying high. <laughs> He's going one, two, three. He 
it's going to have to stay high because of where I'm at. But he's firing his guns onto that command center there. You know, that was kind of... Where was I? I was here. He's going to go two and position himself this direction. He's firing at that SAM site. He stayed high. He's firing at the SAM site. Okay. I'm a seven, minus two to my die roll. I need a nine or a 10. Eight, damn. <laughs> Dang it, oh, didn't get it. Loiter goes to six, and they're gonna blast away at me again. First thing, pop-up counter. No enemy, thank God. Okay, here we go. Got to roll for his cover. Eight. Any one unit in each hex. No cover there. He's in cover. He's in cover. He's in cover. No cover there. Okay, so nothing happens. All right, the same sight. Well, the command, he's firing. I got to roll to see if I defeat him. Need a seven or higher. I got a nine, so he doesn't fire me. Sam, I got to need it again. Six. Damn it. Two heavies. Two stress and a pylon. Okay. So the pylon doesn't have any effect on me because I've already expended the mission. My stress goes to three now from one. I'm, I'm good up to four before it starts affecting me. He can't fire. Okay, so here comes my F-16. <laughs> He's doing this. One, two, three. We'll point him in this direction again. So he made the circle, because he was here. One, two, yep. And he's firing his cannon. We need a nine or a 10. A one, crap. Loiter's down to five. Here we go again. Pop-up target as I'm flying high. No enemy. Woo. Okay. Command is firing at him. I need a seven or higher. Nope. He gets a light damage. A-10 structure. Shot him down. He's down. Okay. And I did not eliminate that battalion. So on the first turn, destroy at least two battalions the first day. I did not do that. Well, I lost again. <laughs> okay. I picked the wrong target, obviously, with only two aircraft. I probably should have gone after one of the smaller battalions up here and taken my chance with the plus two roll. On everything moving up but you know I was trying to avoid that but this was too much with these SAM sites I didn't really look at it that close till I had to set them up with the SAMs and the command centers um, they were just blasting me to pieces and and those SAMs were just horrible and then I drew that helicopter didn't even have an aim for that so okay well <laughs> so much for that so that's two playthroughs, and now you can see what not to do. <laughs> it's a it's a tough game. It's a lot of strategy. I mean, it's fun. You don't if if you're gonna win every game you play, then the game's too easy. This is a winnable game. You got to pick your targets. You got to go after them the right way. And I obviously, the first game I played, I got a bad draw. My random draw of, of aircraft. On this one, I picked a bad target to go after with only two aircraft. Um, you know, if they hadn't got in trouble, if the SAM sites had been somewhere close, you know, together where I could hit them like I did the SAM and the command down here, I had a chance at them. But without that, I didn't have a chance. So, I mean, this is fun. I've been having a good time with this. But, uh, yeah, we're uh, we're in the hole now. So... 
this is going to take some more work, some more playthroughs. Um, but it's a fun game. Like I said before, it's kind of like it was the predecessor, I think, for Tiger Leader, Sherman Leader. So it's got that some of that same um, stuff going on. Uh, what I didn't get to, I guess I should pull my... Um, see if any happened. Yeah, inflict one light hit on each aircraft from AA fire on the way home too. So I was in trouble. They were just killing me. Uh, looks like maybe, yeah, three... On day three, I would have picked up a uh, air assault mission. So I would have got a chance to do that. So that's too bad I didn't get to that. All right. Fun game. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I know this was kind of a long, a little bit longer video, but I wanted to get both missions in on the day in case it went on, but obviously it didn't. So... Hope you enjoyed it. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I would appreciate it. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And we'll see you on the next playthrough. Take care.